Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. A couple of months ago, I did a video about DC looking like they were going to turn Tim Drake, the third Robin, into a bisexual or gay character for some reason. Now, the confusion, of course, lies in the fact that A, uh, Tim Drake has been around for 32 years. He was um, first appeared in 1989. Uh, I think it was in a lonely place of dying, uh, that story arc. And then he uh, became an exceedingly popular character, got his own miniseries, Robin 123, and then eventually went on to getting his own ongoing series, which I think ran for uh, 187 uh, episodes, something along those lines. And he was uh, a beloved uh, Robin. He was a much more sensible Robin. He was uh, trained exceedingly well. And he had very interesting stories and relationships. Uh, he got together with another vigilante that went by the name of Spoiler, Stephanie Brown, uh, who for a brief period of time herself became Robin and also for a brief period of time became Batgirl. And she was dangerous and she was different and she gelled exceedingly well with tim's more upright and sensible approach and they say opposites attract they were perfect and about for about 32 of these years i gotta say around 20 of those tim and stephanie have been an item or if if nothing's really happening uh in terms of the the comics they're still you know, together. And uh, it, it's, it was a great relationship. It was a really, uh, it's a relationship I don't think they even um, capitalized on because I think they should have made a, a Robin and spoiler comic where they're both together. And that would have been a, I think a good seller. I think it would have been great to have uh, the perspective of this young um, uh, adult, you know, uh, coming into their own, and uh, developing their own relationship as they go into college and, and stuff. But they didn't. They didn't. And then, of course, DC suddenly split them up. Uh, after bringing Tim and Stephanie back together very recently, because he was presumed dead, but he wasn't. He was actually off with um, Superman's father, jor -El. And... <laughs> They just suddenly went, oh, hey, Tim, fancy some cock? And so we, we were sort of, they were sort of toying with the idea by the looks of it, and it looks like they're going uh, ahead with that. Uh, and uh, we have this snippet from a comic coming out uh, today, I believe, um, where he's fighting alongside some dude. If I don't make it, can I ask a favor? You'll make it out. Please tell Tim Drake he helped me realize my true self, who I am. Tell him. Well, he probably knows. He's the smartest guy I've ever met. But tell him, I wish we could have finished our date. Okay. And then Tim turns up at his door. And he's like, Tim, hi, I'm glad you're here. I've been meaning, I, I mean, I, I wanted to say, Bernard. Wait, let me talk. I want your cock. <clears throat> now, what's weird about this? Uh, multiple things are weird by this. In the 32 years that Tim Drake's been around, there has never been an internal monologue of Tim being remotely interested in boys. None. Now, I know that uh, the Alphabet community have tried to latch on to certain things and tried to, to pervert them into queer baiting, but sometimes just a, a friendship is just a friendship. Like when Superboy died uh, and he'd been really cut up about it. That was his busy mate. That was his busy mate. I'd be really cut up about it as well. They tried to read a lot into a couple of interactions in Teen Titans. Basically, the Alphabet community had pointed at something and said, Hey, DC, we want that. And we always get what we want. Do you know why? Because we scream and shout on twitter until we get it 
and we will call you all kinds of stuff if you don't do it. That's what happens. That was what happens. Why else is it weird? What? Why would you want to turn... <laughs> Isn't the whole thing, you're born this way? You're born the way that you are. You're born straight. You're born gay. You're born bisexual. Uh, you're not born half the other stuff they've made up in the last couple of years. But don't worry about that. And then suddenly... Uh, you want to take away that person's sexuality. Don't you think that's massively hypocritical? But it doesn't matter because it's it's something you want. So that's okay. So taking away from, from Tim just being a straight white male, that's fine. That's fine because you want it. But let's say there was a gay character that you liked and they were turned into a straight character they would there'd be uproar of course there would be uproar but the thing is folks this isn't something new this isn't something which has has just happened now before i go into other examples of that i just want to bring this up because if you look at the reaction to this they don't care about tim all they care about is that tim is now with a boy that's it it's fetishism oh we got what we wanted oh we wanted we wanted a uh, uh, tim to be gay so we got us gay tim thank you thank you we won everyone dc comics for once were not cowards for 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 gender for sexuality swapping a, 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 a character, an established 32-year-old character, you won. They weren't cowards. We won. We got them. We got them to bend the knee. We got them. We got. The, we got the weirdos to 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 bow, to curtail, to our tyranny. Yay! Finally. What we've been waiting years for. What, why would you wait for somebody to turn? Somebody can't just turn because they're born that way. So why would you expect them to turn? Oh, because you screamed and shouted until you got what you wanted. Gotcha. Gotcha. By the way, uh, nobody here is buying any of these comics. You know, uh, they, they might, they might, a couple of them might pirate them. <laughs> you know, no, none of them buy them. No, no, this isn't moving the needle at all. You know, here, here's the needle. Uh, probably that issue is gonna is gonna go down. It's gonna go down. Um, oh my god! Oh my god! They say the word. They say the D word. This this is infantilization, which is even sicker. By the way, is this real? I've been waiting. You know, they've all got you know stuff in there. I've been waiting for this since Superboy died, and Tim slept with his shirt and cried every night. His best friend died. And because he cried, that ergo automatically means he's gay because he held his shirt. That ergo made... No. It's called camaraderie. It's called friendship. It's called bonding. Why does everything get twisted and perverted into something sexual? That's degeneracy. Tim can't shoot us since day one. And now I've won. I've tucking won. We screamed and we shouted and we got what we wanted. But hey, look. Remember when out of the blue, Marvel just suddenly turned Wolverine and Cyclops as well. Because, because they both fancy Jean Grey, um, the only way that you could resolve that instead of Jean Grey actually picking someone was to just go hey hey scott or yeah 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 what's what's that logan um let's just cock it up i mean literally let's let's just let's just cock it up oh okay since we like gene together we might as well go together what that doesn't make what that doesn't that's that is fetishism that is freakish that is disturbing Remember when Iceman came out? Oh no, he didn't come out. He got told he was gay by Jean Grey. 
What's happening? Bobby, you're gay. Jean Grey did a, an, uh, did a mind trick on Bobby and turned him gay. A character who had been with women, again, none of these characters, I'll say, and I'll, I'll, I'll reiterate it in a minute again. This recently as well, apparently Jean Grey, Wolverine and Cyclops are in a polyamorous relationship. Is this true? It's not stated, but yes, there's a scene involving Wolverine and Jean in a hot tub that's implied sexy time. It's mentioned she's with Scott numerous times. Yeah, why not? More degeneracy. Why not? Marvel confirms Guardians of the Galaxy Star-Lord is bisexual when they brought him back uh, at the end of last year. Suddenly, uh, he, he liked cock as well. Now, this one seemed to be done out of spite because they don't like Chris Pratt because Chris Pratt is on the wrong side of history, according to them. So again, weaponization of sexuality. Where, where have we seen this before? Oh, yeah. All day, every day. All day, every day. Enjoy that, Star-Lord. Of course, there was always implied uh, lesbian slash uh, bisexuality with, with Harley Quinn. But let's just let's just whack that on the cover. Just, just in case, just in case anyone had any doubt. <laughs> let's just go there. Even though Poison Ivy was with Kite Man. But, you know, suddenly Poison Ivy. It's all its all so freakish and weird, folks. Freakish and weird. Why don't you... I know this is going to sound crazy, but why don't you create a new character <laughs> and do it to them? Of course. Because it's not about creating something. It's always about taking away. It's about looking... Uh, what you think, and this is this is what Young Ripper said, and he's absolutely right. You look and you say, only those characters are legitimate. Only those characters there are legitimate. What about the, the gay characters that have been created before? No. What about the black characters that have been created before? No, 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 no. Only those w straight, white, male characters are legitimate. And they have to be taken away. It's sick. It's freakish. It's weird. I'm glad that I dipped out of comics uh, about uh, a year or so ago now. Gary and I buying main uh, buying mainstream new comics. Now we just buy uh, back issues, and I got some some little back issues for tonight. Just a few. I got myself some detective comics. I've got myself some new Teen Titans, Wolfman Perez from the early 80s. When, you know, when comics were good and people weren't afraid to just establish characters, new characters as well, bring in new characters. No. Again, as the great young Ripper says, it's it's only those straight white male characters characters are legitimate and they're the ones that need to be taken need to be race swapped gender swapped sexuality swapped and do you know what that does for the characters nothing <laughs> nothing at all as another dc comic book writer james tinian runs and leaves dc the person who was writing batman to go on to sub something a blogging site well at least he doesn't have to pretend to be bisexual anymore anywho hope you enjoyed the vid if you did do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel follow me on social media and youtube for live streaming links they're in the description box down below and i'll be back with some more stuff very soon you take care bye for now